benchmarking time guys and we have the Galaxy Mega 6.3 with us today we'll start with Antutu so there we have the score 10,650 we're gonna submit it and those are the rankings and all stuff yeah Next up is Geekbench 2, which is a cross platform benchmark app. Yeah, so there we have the score 1406. You also have a breakup of the score here, which is actually a new for me. You will see the memory bandwidth is quite low because of which, and also the processor integer performance because of which the average actually got choked. Now we'll just compare. 1406 and it's somewhere in the middle here yeah next up guys is Valimo and we'll check the HTML5 performance first That's the score 1707 so we'll just gonna compare it and load 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 yeah we have it right on the top pleasant surprise 1707 let's check out some metal scores So there you can see 582. Okay, loading, loading, loading. Yeah. So there we have it on third position 582. Incredible. Then we have Linpack. Run single thread. And there you see 113.288. We're gonna run a multi thread. And there you see 152.778. Quadrant man. There you see your device 5746 but the comparison is not much of an important because they are pretty old devices there 5746 check out our complete review and the graphs for comparison with the latest devices next up is nanomark 2 which mainly checks the gpu You see 58.6 FPS out of 60 FPS, which is quite good. We we'll also do an HTML5 standalone test. So we're gonna go ahead and do an HD 468 and 11 bonus point, which means that 479 out of 500, which is pretty good. So those are the benchmark scores of the Galaxy Mega 6.3 guys. You can check out the detailed comparison and graphs in our review article. So stay tuned. Thank you. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to continuously receive these awesome videos, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.